I was sent this Reddit thread. This Reddit thread has a lot of cautionary tales. There is an age gap. There's bait and switch. There is the importance of waiting to get married till you're a little bit older and know yourself. Let's just get into it. This one is called I Regret Getting Married. She's 20 and her husband is 30. That right there should be a red flag. Ladies, when older women tell y'all not to look at these older men, that, that they are that they are not good for you, please understand why. Okay, let's get into this. She says, I'm 20 and married to my husband who's 30 and against my better judgment and all of my family's advice, got married a year ago to John. He has two kids from a previous relationship, another red flag. The relationship started out great. We both had good jobs and he was pitching in equally. Well, after we got married, he quit his job and for a whole year has not been able to keep a job longer than a month. This has put me in several thousand dollars in credit card debt, just trying to stay afloat. I also found out after getting married, he is sinking in medical debt and has a car loan that he owes about $20,000 on. So right here, when people wonder, about the, the bait and switch, understand that some of these people can actually be helping out. Some of these people can actually have a job and, and hide their true intention for a while and then switch up after the paperwork is signed. Okay, John broke my trust back in June when he brought nudes from a girl and asked a few other women if he could <sighs> something and blank in them. Lord, he swears he didn't actually do anything with him, but was just seeing if he could get someone to say yes, which sounds like some bull to me, but I digress. I stay with him through this on the pretense that if he ever did it again, I'd leave immediately. Well, my cards are maxed out and he hasn't had a job for a month, so we won't have enough next month to pay rent. He asked me to take out a personal loan to cover the rent, and I told him I wouldn't get in any more debt. So he needs to figure it out. And he got mad and gave me the silent treatment for a night. I feel like I'm pushed to my limits. I love him, but I don't think I could take this much longer. I'm thinking about moving back home and just starting over. I've had friends tell me I'm young and I should just leave and start fresh. But part of me is worried about what my family will say and I will feel bad for leaving him. There's so much to unpack in this. Ladies, people. Our brains are not fully formed until we are 25. You need your 20s to be able to discover yourself and to be able to know your value system and what you're looking for. We have got to stop pushing young people to get married. We have got to stop pushing them so quickly that they feel desperate to latch on to the first person that they that will show them some attention and stop dating men that already have kids, especially if you are child free. Because of this relationship, this 20 something year old will have to dig herself out financially. Your relationships can impact your financial health, your physical health, your mental health, all of that in this, this one story, all of her health are being impacted by latching on to a person like this. These age gaps are not are not conducive to your youth. She's going to be worn down by her mid-20s. Okay, some of the comments. Cut your losses and consult a divorce lawyer now before he ruins your credit and or knocks you up. Yes, please don't get married. I mean, please don't get pregnant. Getting pregnant will just anchor her to him. If she's not pregnant, she can fix this credit situation. All right, um, great advice. Get the F away from this turd. Run. Run away ASAP. Okay, so more comments. The OP was a teenager when she, when she got paid, married. The worst part, she got married to a 30-year-old child. Yes, basically he's a child as well. And now she's his mother. Good Lord. Right. Sad because I'd imagine he knew women his own age wouldn't put up with his laziness and debt. So he found someone young and full of hope that he could explain his life choices to. I hope OP realizes they have way too much life ahead of them to be weighed down by this loser. <sighs> so this person asked, what made you decide to marry him? And so this is what she says. The whole thing was a very weird situation. He communicated amazingly, was very open about most of his flaws, just seemed like an overall great caring guy. 
I wanted to wait to marry him, but my parents are very religious. So when they found out we were having SEX, they kind of forced us to get married. Our plan was to get married this fall, but it was rushed. And I really wished I would have just said no and waited. So there, this is a tactic that some of these people do. Um, he love bombed her. He put all of his cards on the table. This is to make him seem more trusting. He really needed a nanny for those two kids. And she is young. She couldn't see through all of the red flags. So she obliged because also she had the pressure coming from her parents. And so what this person said at the bottom, this is what narcissists do. Love bomb you and then drive you to your limits after they secure you. So this is the bait and switch. These are all tactics. And she being a teenager when he started with her, she was a teenager. How is she supposed to read through these red flags? Coming from an ultra religious family and then not having the life experience sets these people up for the okie doke. That is the reason why we have to continue to have these conversations. So the next girl is not taken for the okie doke. Okay, I'm going to continue with what this person says. This is what narcissists do, love bomb you and then drive you to your limits after they secure you. You don't really love him. He's manipulated you to love him. And he doesn't really love you either because he honestly isn't capable of that emotion. Once you leave him, you'll realize it was the best decision you've ever made. And it's okay to realize you messed up marrying him. He learned from our mistakes, best of luck. She still has time to recuperate and fix things. Hopefully she does not get knocked up because getting knocked up will anchor her to this person and this person is not good for her. And then the next comment, all of this, and honestly, I think he took advantage of your age. He probably hasn't had luck with women his own age because they have figured him out before things got very far. As the others have said, run. If you have to go into more debt just to get away from him, do that and drop this turd, drop him get rid of him, run quickly. And this is for all of the 20 some odd year olds that are out there that are listening to us. Listen to us older ladies. We are not out here trying to take your man. We're not competing for these bottom of the barrel people. I swear to goodness, we're not. We want to save your youth because there is no reason why this 20 some odd year old should be worrying about thousands of dollars of debt being run up by a spouse being um, that a spouse that can't keep a job. So you guys, please continue to share these stories. I appreciate people sharing these stories with me so that we can continue get, to get the word out, to speak on red flags, to speak on manipulation tactics, to speak on love bombing and all of that. We have got to save the next generation from these types of people. Like, comment, and please share. Continue to share. Share with 20 some year olds. Keep talking.